Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Mahev Kandahar, expert reviewer for the United Nations IPCC, says winters are becoming much more severe in North America and the Northern Hemisphere. And lo and behold, just two weeks later, record snow across Newfoundland and the Eastern Maritimes of Canada. Over a foot of snow and it's just a week before June. Although the Noctilucian clouds, there still aren't any, which is a little strange. Unless all of our seasons have been pushed back and we're actually going to start to see these clouds a month later. Lava rolling into the geothermal area. Amazing images coming out. We can see the heat from space. And this video is brought to you by TrueLeafMarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on our planet. And all the links for tonight's video are in the description box below, including True Leaf Market. That's the Adapt 2030 link. <music> Dr. Madev Kandahar, expert reviewer for the United Nations IPCC, says, I'm not finding much global warming in the world these days. Article continues on talking about Europe has witnessed five significantly cooler and snowier winters since the year 2000. It shows you here 2002 and 3, 2005 and 6, 9 and 10, 11 and 12, and for sure we can add in this year because the super freeze 1.0 and 2.0 that was all time record cold shattering tens of thousands of cold records this year 2017-18 can surely be added in there. And over in North America. 2013, 14 was one of the longest and coldest, snowiest on records, yet this year was even snowier. This is a great article and it continues on talking more about Canada with Calgary, record snowfall for the entire season. Edmonton set a record of continuous 127 days of below freezing temperatures this winter. We saw this late season blizzard that just rolled over the Maritimes up in Granger, Newfoundland. Incredible. Just a week before June. This is Atlantic Canada, otherwise known as the Canadian Maritimes, bullet point number five. Even saying this year is probably the longest and snowiest winter in at least 40 years. And then they're pegging saying significantly cooler and snowier winters in Canada and the United States. And you know, this article was released back on May 6th. And lo and behold, this all time record snow Canadian Maritimes this week. I guess he knows what he's talking about because Al Gore telling us snow would be a thing of the past. Well, that's exactly the opposite of what's happening. Spring day comes to a record snowfall in the Canadian Maritimes near you. Foot, foot and a half of snow, snow plows are out, blizzard conditions, schools canceled, everybody stay home, have a fun snow day a week before June. Newfoundland, Labrador. Even the Washington Post and the Huff Post picked this up. I think they just had to. Although it ran for seconds and then it was deleted. And the new record eclipsed the old record by 4.7 inches. Now taking a look at the sunspot cycle. We're already down at zero and that red line was the forecast going out into the decline into solar minimum. So you can see the forecasts were off all except for John Casey who says get ready. Grand solar minimum in play, less sunspots, next solar cycle, cooler conditions on the planet. And speaking of that, I got a, a couple messages just this morning saying, oh, the Arctic's already above freezing. It's already melting. This is strange. It's above freezing. So already early. I'm sorry. Where'd you get your information from? Right here's null school from today. 10.8 below zero. And speaking of the Arctic, these noctilucent clouds are behaving a little strange. They should already be appearing in late May or early June, since we're already into late May and early June, except for if all of our seasons are being delayed by three weeks to a month, which we're seeing tornadoes now, massive thunderstorms that, you, that usually occur in March, April time. The out of season blizzards, everything seems to have been pushed back. So my conjecture is that we will not see these right now 
at the exact time that we're supposed to, that it's going to be late this year by weeks or a possible full month before these noctilucent clouds kick in and reach the height of the season. This is already on May 25th. No puffs, no electric blue clouds, no noctilucent clouds. Something strange going on in the Arctic. Let's bring you over here to Hawaii. This is off the USGS update for today. I wanted to bring this to you. Not only is it amazing photos, but the lava has reached the geothermal plant and actually covered one of the wellheads. They're waiting for an explosion, possibly. So these outbreaks and conduits moving toward the sea are actually flowing at the speed of water now with the lava. This is just epic. This shot is scary to look at. And it just looks like the power of the earth, a vein. Literally, even these fountains are pushing a couple hundred feet into the air. Might as well zoom in on that for you there. This is the May 25th USGS show of where the flows were entering into the ocean. And then NASA also added on top of this, but look at the thermal image and you can see that so clearly going into the sea. This is another incredible image here. So now we're up to fissure number 24 and there is absolutely 0% that this thing is stopping. It's actually increasing in intensity and velocity. But this is the east rift zone here, May 27th. You can see where the active regions still are. But this brings us right into the geothermal plant and that lava has now encroached and covered one of the wellheads there that's used for geothermal power production. They're worried about an explosion, not from the hexane, that's all been moved out, but actually what's in the well itself. Now this is the close up view. So you see that yellow line right in the center where it says PGV. That's the area where the uh, power plant's at. So if you're taking a look at any types of these USGS charts, you know exactly where to pinpoint your searching. And these active lava channels are expanding. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. Changes in the sky, changes in the atmosphere, changes in the ice, changes in our earth. The grand solar minimum is now part of your life.